Hey everyone, we are getting ready to get back on the road. And guess what? <laughs> what do we like to use to do all our navigation? RV Life Ship Wizard. <laughs> That's right. I, I gave her a script ahead of time, but she's really having a hard time with this. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Digner Adventures. Hey, we have been on the road for a long time now. How long? <laughs> six years. Yeah, we're working on our six years and we have come across some pretty interesting things while we've been driving and trying to follow. When we first got started and we were just using whatever <laughs> GPS app we could find, you know, to get us somewhere. Oh, scary sometimes. It was a little scary sometimes. <laughs> we had to had a bridge we couldn't go over, have to back up. We have a tunnel we can't go through. Uh, oh, how about the time we were in Portland and we got directed down through this neighborhood? Oh my heck, there was cars on both sides. It was like, I think there's like an inch between us. And there's some Vaseline. <laughs> and we had, and we had, we were towing our car <laughs> with our tow dolly. The tow dolly was wider than our car. So it was really scary, so. Anyway, what we're leading up to is that this video is about a product that we found that we have just enjoyed using to plan our trips now, and it's by RV Life, and it's called Trip Wizard. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you should know about RV Life and Trip Wizard. We have this special deal for those of you that don't have a subscription to this and you might be interested because it does come with a seven day free trial. But if you're interested in doing it, we got a 25% discount that you can use for a discount on your first year of the subscription. So, and right now it's $59, but hey, it's supposed to be going up. That's what we want to make sure that you're aware of and that you get it before it does. But with that said, we are going to show you five things well, let's see, I already gave you one tip. Maybe at least five tips. Maybe a, <laughs> maybe a, a um, bonus tip at the end <laughs> of things that we can give you tips all day long because we use this so much and we've done so many videos on this. Uh, so let's get started. We are going to start with number five, and that is Imperial and Metric. Now, if some of you have been following us, you'll know that we have been in Canada now, and we've actually been here for like a month and a half just touring around Canada and one of the things that's a little different with Canada is that they're on the metric system and US individuals like ourselves are used to Imperial and so one of the options that you have when you run RV Life on your phone for navigation is to choose what kind of uh, you know mileage is going to be reported is it going to be reported in Imperial or in metric and to do that, if you look here on the app, you can see that I've got my next trip selected here. I'm going to start navigation. And if you look down here at the very bottom, it has this option next to the stop that gives me some things that I can set within the app. So if I click on that, you'll see at the very bottom of this list, it says Imperial US. And I can actually click on that and I can select from Imperial US, Imperial UK, and metric. Now, in our particular case, we navigate by Imperial. And so that's why I have that selected here. All of the mileage that's listed out on the highway is in kilometers and meters. And so when we're going along, it's difficult to look at a mileage sign that says, you know, 100 kilometers and then be able to look at our speedometer and be able to tell exactly, you know, how fast that is. You know, we're kind of just we don't have time to stare at it too long. So if you look here, this is the speedometer on our rig. And if you look here on the, to the right, you'll see that this speedometer, which is metric at the top, that's their main numbers. And then the US Imperial is on the bottom. And on ours, we have US Imperial on top. You know, you can see it better. And then uh, we have metric on the bottom. So this is pretty cool, you know, when you're driving that you have both those options. But you know, it's really tough to see those little numbers. And so if you look on these options that I'm putting up here on the screen, you can see where on the right here, I have the speed limit is in metric. And on the left, RV Life is actually showing me the uh, navigation based on uh, Imperial. So I'm seeing how fast I should be going in miles per hour, not in metric. And same way with my distance, it's showing to me in miles 
per hour. How long, how far do I got to go? Now, number four is really cool too, and we use this a lot uh, because we like to share our trip. That's, so that's number four, is sharing our trip with other people. So if you look here, you can see that on our website, we have it listed up here at the top that says our 2023 travel map. And if individuals click on that, they can see exactly where we're at when, as we're traveling around. And so the idea is that you guys can see that, if we're nearby where you're at, you can reach out to us and we can work uh, to get together and, you know, just meet each other and just, you know, have some fun together. So that's what that's all about there. But if you look over here on um, RV Trip Wizard, you can see I've got my whole map listed here. And if I go up to this little wrench right up here and click on that uh, trip tools is what that is. And then if I go halfway down here where it says share my trip. So if I click on share trip. You have two different ways of doing this. If you have other uh, individuals, uh, friends of yours that have um, the trip wizard already loaded themselves, also you can share your trip wizard, your information here, you can share it directly with them and they can interact and see exactly what's going on that way. Uh, the one that we use is this visitor view. So if you look right up here on this visitor view, if I click right there, I have two different options. I have a public link and I have private link. So I can create a private link that I just share with family members and it's just between them and that's it. So if you, you don't have to share your trip publicly if you don't want it. You can just share it privately and it's just for you and your family members, for example. In our case, we use the copy public link. And so what it does is it copies that link to our clipboard. We then paste that code into our website so that you know that link is active and they can actually click on it. So that's number four, and now we're on to number three. So number three is the elevation of your trip. And if you look on the map here, you can, I've zoomed in here a little bit, but down at the bottom, you can see where it says elevation. And if I click on that, it brings up my elevation view. Now, if you don't have that elevation tab there, you can go up to the right here at the top, it says map settings and you can pull it up that way. If you're on a smaller screen, that might be how you have to actually get to it. But here is my elevation, and you'll notice in front of me, right there in the middle of the screen, as I move my cursor along that elevation on the bottom, there is an orange circle that is actually moving back and forth. And so as I go along here, I can look here, and at 8,600 feet, it's, um, I'm going to be in this particular location, which is just right outside of Laramie, Wyoming. So I like that. And then you notice here that it's a pretty good drop after that, and, but I'm getting to see all my elevations. So my trip is starting over here in Yuma at an elevation of, of uh, 217 feet. And the highest point of my whole trip is gonna be right here at 8,600 feet. So I think that elevation thing is pretty cool. It allows me to just see exactly what we're going to be dealing with and this really is handy for in the summertime when it's so hot uh, the higher your elevation the cooler it is typically that's how it works okay unless you're over by the west coast where we're at right now now it's pretty cool you can see it's been raining i have a rain jacket on but normally the higher elevations are going to be better in the summertime and so you can see that exactly on here exactly where it's at and as we went out through the midwest you can see that our elevation dropped way down well when it did it got a little warm in those areas and so that works out really well the other thing i really like is this gradient option on here because when you select this then it has these different uh, color options on here that shows you what type of a grade that you're going to uh, be climbing or or uh, going down and so it kind of gives you an idea ahead of time what you're actually doing and what you should prepare for. All right, so now we are up to number two. And number two is really cool. It's with the app also when we're actually navigating. A lot of times when you're navigating down through wherever you're going, you run out of cell service or you don't have any the next day when you get up. And so number two is it allows you to download your whole, the map of your whole trip. Uh, or if you don't have enough space on your phone, you can just download the states that you're in for the next few days, and then that way you don't have to use all the storage on your phone. You'll see down here at the very bottom of the screen, it says more. And if I click on more, uh, one of the options I have here is for offline storage. So I can pull that up, and you can see I can choose between USA, Canada, or Mexico. 
And if I go ahead and select USA, it gives me a listing here of all the states that are in the USA. And up on top there, it shows which ones have been downloaded. And in this particular case, you can see that our whole trip is listed up here and it's in red blocks. And so it get, this option here gives us the way to navigate through each um, state and we can delete states that we don't want anymore or we can add states that we want at the time. Okay, another way to do it is when you actually are in your trip, you bring your trip up and you want to start at the very top of the listing here, it talks about downloading your trip. So downloading the map ahead of time is nice because when you go to navigate somewhere, usually when you're just driving along, it's not as much of an issue because it's already plotted the route and you're just going. But what about the next morning when you get up and you have still have no cell service and you want to go somewhere and you pull up your map and you say, hey, take me there. Well, if the map's not on there, then you, you can't get there. You know, it's not telling you anything. So uh, we've had that happen with some of the other softwares that we've used uh, before we found this. And it was really frustrating because we had no idea where we were and we didn't really make a note of it. And most of those other packages don't allow you to download maps ahead of time. So you always have to have service. RV Life has this option available to you and it's very nice. It works so nice. You just pull it up in the morning click your trip in there just like you normally do and it says you know what there's no cell service but hey i got it downloaded so let me go ahead and bring that up for you and then you just start your navigation as normal okay that brings us to number one and the number one option here is the uh, actual company rv life a lot of people are a little worried these days about buying into a country that uh, they don't know a lot about and that's why I'm trying to get this information out to them they're afraid that things you know with some of the things that's been going on with some pretty big companies well known cutting back on services and things they're a little leery about you know joining into something and so I just want to touch on that for just a little bit uh, the company the parent company of RV life is social knowledge and social knowledge has been around for, uh, let's see, about uh, 15, 16 years now. And they actually uh, started out in the um, forum and they still do a lot with the forums and that's the IVR2 forum that we use too. Uh, they also have a number of other forums that you probably already belong to uh, that I don't wanna get into all that right now, but that's where they started out. A lot of RVing uh, information out there in those different forums. And so then they kind of expanded out and they purchased RV uh, Trip Wizard. And they did that about eight, nine years ago. And so now their concentration has been getting Trip Wizard up and going and everything. And they've created the actual RV Life brand and brought everything together. And they're still continuing to do that. They're a fairly small company compared to some of these big conglomerate, conglomerates out there. Um, you know, some of these guys out there, they, they, they're trying to do the same thing. And I haven't found anybody that does as good a job as these guys do at their navigation and everything. You know, this is set up so that it works very nice and very easy to use. I'm not saying they don't have issues, but that brings me to the second portion of the company. They have really good customer support. They're small enough that they, most of their uh, individuals that are doing this actually are RVers themselves. And so they understand the uh, concerns that RVers have when they're traveling around and they know what they want. And so even though these guys are smaller, they continue to grow at a pretty fast pace actually. And they're offering all kinds of new services. Uh, when I was talking about that discount coupon, they're gonna be raising their prices pretty soon. And so you wanna jump in on that uh, coupon and, and start using that because it does come with a seven day trial. You can check it out. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve and that's why I've done quite a few uh, different videos and they have their own masterclass videos that they'll email to you and things like that But I'm just saying there's things out there and ways to uh, help you out to get you started in this But I show you how we do our trips and how we plan and all these different things and I have a couple presentations I've done for RV life that are recorded out there uh, So there's information there to help you out and but now is the time to get going because 25% off the current price being $59 is not going to be around much longer. So those that bought in at whatever time they bought in, that subscription price never goes up. 
So in this particular case, you get 25% off of the $59. That's like $44 or $45 for your first year. And then after that, it's $59 for as long as you keep the auto renew going. Even though prices continue to go up as you know time goes on, your price will never increase. And that's what one of the really cool things about this whole setup is. So now, bonus, <laughs> I forgot. I, I am gonna give you another bonus tip because I, I think this is really important. So if we go back here to the map, you'll see that I have my map setting here. I have my whole trip up here and I'm still expanded in here on Wyoming. And if I actually go up here to map settings at the top of the screen here on the right and I click there, you can see that I have a map style option button here. If I click on this map style, I can actually choose the type of map that I actually want. And so if I want to have a satellite view map, for example, I can turn that on instead of the other one, close this out. So you can see here that uh, it's now in satellite mode and I can expand that in. If I'm actually over here and I want to um, look at what's going on in this town, I can just kind of go right down in here. I can expand this out really dive down into this and look at things that's i love this whole setup and i can switch back and forth between the tip, different map views uh, so makes it really really simple so anyway hopefully you know this is a few different tips again i keep dwelling on this and you're probably tired of hearing this but if you don't have a subscription already you need to jump on it soon at least try it out because i, I you know it's something that's very, very helpful to us. We use it all the time. We have been going out RVing all the time now for six years, um, which is only a couple months away actually. And we have used this for the last five years now. Uh, in our first year, we got into some pretty bad situations. You know, we're 55 feet long and it's, it's just, a, this takes a lot of the stress out of all the trip planning and out of the actual navigating down the road. All right, we got Tansy showing up here. Hi, Tansy. You pretty girl. <laughs> pretty girl, yep. Yeah. Well, we are <laughs> sure enjoying uh, being full-time RVers. And um, I tell you, at this point, we can't see anything else that we'd ever want to do. Huh, you like being out? She loves going out and checking everything out. She gets a little irritated when we pick her up. I'm sorry. And I think she's me. camera shy, too. <laughs> <You're> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... Did you see the dirty look? Oh yeah, she's complaining. So, she smells <laughs> anyway. something. Oh, she smells something. She wants to head in. Oh, yep. oh, yep. oh, oh, she wants to go. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully this is really helpful to you. Um, the idea here is to, oh, there she goes. <laughs> the idea here is to provide some things available to you so that it can help you out. Our whole, if you go to our website under recommendations, these are things that we've checked out and are good. We, hopefully most of them we try to set up so they save you money. Uh, so just some different options there, but hopefully this will give you some ideas of what we use and why we like RV Live. If you have any kinds of problems with them, you just send an email off to their support. And usually it's not very long and they get right back to you and then you basically have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with them to get the problem resolved um, or you can give them some suggestions on things to change or whatever the case may be. They are really good at uh, listening and working with people and trying to help you out the best they can. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. They've already left. <laughs> so thanks for following us. Hopefully we'll see you um, on our next video. Um, if not, then maybe we'll see you down the road somewhere because we are all around Canada right now visiting friends and having lots of fun. So take care. Mm -hmm.